Hello BookTube, it's Saturday morning and it's another mail haul. I've got five books here to show. Uh, they came and woke me up this morning, how inconsiderate. Uh, it's now about 10.30 here, uh, it was about a 9, 9.30, they started banging on the door. Oh, I've got all turned around. Uh, uh, since I've been furloughed, I started staying up to sort of one, then two, then three, then five. Last night, I think it was closer to seven by the time I went to bed, so I've only had a couple hours sleep. I actually don't feel too bad at the moment, so I'll probably stay up for a bit, and then probably ha uh, we'll have a nap at some point. But no, uh, I'm more than pleased with the ones I've received today. Uh, again, they're uh, relatively uh, cheaper ones. Uh, well, all fairly cheap. Uh, I've got a few more coming. I think this ends... Oh, no, no, no. There are a couple more, and I'll get to those in a moment. Uh, but more or less, I was going to say, it ends the ones that I ordered last weekend and the week and the following up to last weekend. <coughs> um, I've, I've unpacked everything, cleaned up, washed up, and uh, disposed of the uh, packaging. Uh, the books have, uh, a few people have mentioned about the uh, contagion of everything, but the books have, wouldn't have been touched for days and days uh, in there. So the packaging, yes, um, would have uh, or potentially been uh, touched uh, by bare hands uh, or coughed on or sneezed on or whatever. You know, you, you don't know. Um, but yeah, just take as many precautions as I can. Uh, but yeah, so I've opened them up, and um, here is the first one. Uh, it is etc. It's essays uh, by Augustine Burrow. One I didn't have. I've been looking for other ones, uh, and this has the dust jacket, which again was a bit of a surprise to me. But even so, it's a nice brushed uh, uh, buckram with a little. You know, it's got nice. You know, they took a little time designing because you can see the embossed border around and it's on the back as well and it's nice gold lettering that's yeah it's it's imprinted right in it's pressed right into the cloth um this was the expensive most expensive one out of all that i got today of the five i paid 450 for it but I'm more than happy with that because lately I've ordered a few that I don't have and the condition has been just really bad. So I have put a hold on buying Augustine Burrow at the moment because condition-wise, basically, uh, I, I'm not happy with the condition that I get because it is somebody I really like. So I will explore later uh, to replace some of my copies by nicer copies but i'm gonna to have to pay a little bit of extra money for them and i'm perfectly fine for that but not at the moment so it'll be in the future um this one here was all of two pounds it's without a dust jacket it's not that old oh uh just going back this is 1930 the augustine borough and it has the jacket so that's that's the nice thing about it darkened on the spine, but hey, it's 1930. Um, this is Epping Forest. It's Literary and Historical Association by William Addison. And it's J.M. Dent and Sons Limited. Uh, oh, I didn't think it was this old. Uh, first published 1945, 1946, but yeah, you can tell by the paper. It's still sort of wartime measures, uh, even 46 paper. Uh, I thought it was later for some reason. But, uh, thankful, because I thought, ooh, that sounds interesting, depending on um, what was in it. And then, thankfully, the uh, seller, uh, this was on eBay, uh, photographed the table of contents, all three pages of it. And there we go, chapter 13, John Clare with Dr. Allen at High Beach. Short little essay. And... Yes, I couldn't uh, say no to that. But then looking back, I got like Peeps in Epping Forest. Uh, Tennyson. At, oh, Tennyson at High Beach as well. So, yeah. Uh, something about David Livingston as well. So, yeah. So, this 
I'm sure it will be uh, well uh, spent for two pounds. Oh, it's got photographs as well. It's got a little plate section. Uh, the High Beach uh, Sanitary doesn't exist anymore. I'm not sure if this one does Rolls Park Chigwell. Probably does. It's a big pile, so I doubt they would have bulldozed that. Um, it smells a bit. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not overpowering. It's again. I just I, I want to know where these people, where these booksellers keep their wares. It has to be in a garage or in a shed out and back, where there's no heat, so they are going to be musty smelling. Or in some cases, I swear it's a hole in the ground uh, by the condition. Now this is one volume of four volumes that I'm expecting. Uh, um, three are coming from uh, another bookseller. Um, and in total, I paid less than 15 pounds for the four volumes. They're not sort of volume one, two, three, and four. What it is, is a bibliography of poetry, and this is of the First World War. The author, Catherine W. Riley, um, did a series of bibliographies uh, by it's Mansell. Oh, this is Pro George Pryor Publishers. Uh, okay. thought it was Mansell. Uh, at least it was described as Mansell. Um, but anyway, um, she did a series of bibliographies of poetry. Now, she was editor of a uh, women's uh, collection of women's poetry uh, in the 19th century, which I, I sort of found again on my shelves, and it's a really good collection. A little bibliography at the beginning, a um, few, few quibbles that she didn't uh, put in where uh, it was originally published, uh, the, the, uh, the poems, which would have been nice. Uh, but all in all, it was, it was very good. And I, I found out that she compiled four and was working on a fifth bibliography. And the first one I think she did was late uh, 18th, 19th century, sorry, 19th century. Uh, and then there's a mid-19th century, First World War. And she did a four, uh, Second World War poetry uh, bibliography as well. And generally, these are really expensive. Um, like, they're still in print. So, like, I think one of these I saw was, like, 295 pounds. Uh, just ridiculous. Um, and she was working on early uh, 19th century poetry when she died of cancer in 1995. So that wasn't completed. And as far as I can tell, nobody else has picked it up and completed it. Uh, but I thought, oh, this is going to be great. Now, I would understood that they were annotated uh, by the description I got. This one uh, is not annotated. Uh, but it does say little things like, uh, such and such here, sold for the benefit of the Belgian Refugees Relief Fund. And remembering this is uh, World War One, that makes sense. Um, and she gives the... Um, you know, public just to, you know the basic uh, bibliographical information. And then also um, says see you know other areas for other titles of the author uh, or um, initials, and then see wherever. So that that'll be that'll be quite nice uh, because it'll be just sort of a one handy thing. Because you, you, the internet, yes, is only good so far, uh, but you know if you pull up you know World War One poets. You won't get everything. Uh, you won't get as many as that are in here. I don't know how many are listed. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It, uh, I just thought I might be able to see quickly how many um, poets she lists, but you're not going to find a list that easily, um, or at least I, I could never find something that easy. Now, the last two, one of them I already have. I got it in my care package yesterday. Uh, and this is uh, Leaves and Fruits by Edmund Goss. Uh, it's a bit cocked, and it does have a warp to it, as you can see. Yeah, that's maybe better. 
It's got a ooh. Uh, again, it was from uh, apparently an old publisher, uh, publisher, uh, bookseller. But again, like these, oh, um, you know, these, these weren't that expensive. Like I think I said, yeah, I paid, I paid uh, fifteen uh, less than fifteen pounds for all four of these. So this one, the other one, the um, burrow was most expensive of this one, and I think this was probably two fifty, maybe three pounds. Um, and this, this one was cheap as well, um, two pounds or so, but we already saw that yesterday, so it's a duplicate. This one, um, it was sort of, uh, funny because, uh, it's called The Memoirs of a Bookman by James Mills, and they, these were both from the same seller. <sighs> Somebody, by the looks of it, has ripped out a page of some sort. But it's in between the end paper and the frontispiece. Interesting. I'll have to investigate that. But there was something clearly in there. Uh, anyway, the, the the funny part of this was that uh, Amy at the Dusty Bookshelf, and I'll put a link down at the bottom, um, she, she uh, did a unboxing of it and read a little bit from... Uh, from the uh, from this book, now, and, and I had ordered it like you know maybe three or four or five days before, which I thought was funny. Um, and its first edition says nineteen thirty four. This is bothering me. I don't know what's in there. I'll have to uh, see if I think it looks like the same edition that Amy has, and I wonder if she know if if she has something in between the front free end paper and the frontispiece unless no no I just thought for a minute somebody had ripped out the front free the frontispiece and then it's been replaced but no it hasn't uh, but anyway yeah so that's that's quite nice and again this was very cheap uh, with these and but again it's 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 one of these things where uh, it, it is, I keep saying it's a crapshoot, but I try, uh, some of these are new booksellers that I, that I had uh, tried, but there are a couple that I, that are bargain booksellers that you get books from a pound, pound 50, two pounds, two 50, all the way up to hundreds of pounds, but their pound and two pound books are, are, are fantastic. I wish I'd be, I'd be able to actually be there and go through their stock. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd buy probably too many, but, uh, I, I will order like most of the time, like two or th three or four books at a time because they do charge, I think three pounds per, sh per book for shipping. Um, so, and they, they list everywhere, but I can get on to eBay, uh, and then find the books I want and then ask them to combine the shipping. So it works out once you get about three, four books to not much more than a pound uh, per book for shipping. So, and I've been able to interpret their photographs. And when I say interpret, I, I mean interpret their photographs because uh, like everybody else on there, they, they, if there's, if there's damage to it or something, they will, they will like, it, it'll look perfect. It'll look really bright as if they put real cream on this, but they put it like, you know, they, they, they have the light trying to sort of get that aspect so it shines and that shining will a lot of times cover up um problems and or they think it does but if you look close sometimes you can see it or they'll show something like this they'll show the book like this you can't they don't you can't see the the edge at the back so you know there's probably something if, if they show it like that and then they show the back, and they do all that, then that's fine. Uh, then you can see. Or, you know, most of their uh, um, photographs will say, look like this. And then you'll find one that looks like that. The top's cut off. Why is the top cut off? They did that for the rest. Why are they doing that for this? Well, because there's a problem with the top, most likely. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've been able to interpret um, theirs, and I... After a few trial and error, uh, just literally a few, I've figured out how to interpret and I can now order stuff and be perfectly happy with what I get uh, from them. And no, I'm not naming the sellers. They're mine. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, so I, you know, I could do that and I can, I can test a few new things if I don't, uh, if I don't, uh, uh, don't know what it is and it looks interesting. Um, and I've done that a few times. Uh, I've, I've been burned a few times from them, uh, as well still because it comes really musty or something like that moldy. But again, the, the amounts are really, really low. Um, and, but then I just, you know, I pass them on or throw them out. So, um, uh, I've, I've got a stack now of stuff that needs to go to uh, a uh, charity shop, but in the past I had like you know a couple bags full, and we just I just took them to a charity shop. But yeah, so it it it, it is a crapshoot, but it still it still burns me when I get when you get something or I, when I get something that is not as it's described, especially if I pay more than a couple pounds for it, then I I am not pleased. Uh, I, but uh, but when I get stuff like this, or especially um, this, and there was the other one too, the J M Barry uh, Greenwood hat uh, with the jacket, you know, and it, you, it's you weren't expecting that, or I wasn't expecting that, and that is quite nice, um, you know, when you do that. So when you get something that's really nice and really good condition, like the others. Um, uh, well, like the first one of this that I got, the more books on the table by Edmund Goss, like the, the, it was a pittance what I paid for it. And it's just perfect condition. It's like this one. This, this is, this is nice for the, for the amount of two or three pounds or whatever it was, maybe three pounds this was, you know, that's perfectly fine. It just so happens that I got a copy that's actually might be a little nicer yesterday. Um, but that's happenstance. So there we go. Uh, I'll be back later, uh, uh, definitely with a um, an essay today. I'll have to figure out which one to do. Possibly a another tag, uh, and I might even do. I've got a few things to do. I might even though come back with. Uh, I'll start. No, I will. I will. I'll I'll, I'll start my folio. Uh, folio books uh, as a shelf tour. This will be shelf tour 22, I think. I'll have to look. But anyway, take care of BookTube. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'll remember to link uh, Amy's uh, video of of her reading from The Memoirs of a Bookman uh, by James Milne. Um, and it's just sort of serendipity that we got both same time uh and it's just curious now what's missing out of there uh but yeah so the de no, dedication page is next and yeah dedication is kind of to, to amy and trixie gratefully well amy do you know someone named trixie <laughs> um but anyway uh take care book two